Well, howdy tubers, at it again, and I just kind of surprised myself, and, uh, well, we'll just jump right into this, and, and a surprise, of course, it may not be a surprise, because you never know what the thumbnail is going to put up there, or I don't know how to change it, so, here we go. What do you think of that? That is so cool. So easy to... I mean, it'd be easier with... with probably two people to get it... up there, but... I built the... I built the Ultra Cruiser by myself. Didn't even have Spike there when I built it. So... And I don't remember in the last video, I remember I was telling you not to put rivets in, in the tip rib because the tip skin will overlap this. And so you'll be shooting through the tip skin, through the skin, and then into the rib. So that's why, or well, of course you can see the bottom, which is riveted up, which is riveted on is... Um, Still, well, I put the Clicos on the back side. Like, like I say, I, when I did that, I was telling you I was going to put it in there on the on the table. But, hey, it just uh, still worked out better on the sawhorses. So, now all, all I have to do is, of course, the, the tips are the easy one. Just look through there and, and find, the, find your red line and drill it and these aren't bad this ain't fun and this one ain't fun but this ain't bad and this ain't bad but it can be done i mean if, the, uh, if you had somebody else uh but i mean to i used of course this is a stick i used when i built the uh Ultra Cruiser and probably the H5 to re well I had this I had this in there I had this in here holding these ribs straight but on this on the kit you don't need to worry about it but I but I've been using that hook there to move the move the rib in or out so that you can look and get it in line of course you can I also, if if it's if it's close to there, you can reach through, and I think I showed you this on the center section. And I'll I'll reach through with a, with an awl and move and move the rib to get it to get it in alignment. Now, one thing I'm worried about because I don't have an eight foot break will be putting that little bend in here, but I. I've got a tool that I may try just so that lays down just a little bit. But uh, it's surprising me at this point. Oh, and of course, obviously with that last video, I said that I uh, didn't, didn't know if I wanted to go down and get this skin out of my van because it was, it's, I mean, every once in a while I can really hear the wind blowing. But when I went down to get it, there wasn't any, I walked around the van, there wasn't even snow. I mean, the, the, the wind had blown the snow away or just didn't get around there. And I walked plumb to the back of the van and no snow there until I opened the doors and it, and it knocked the snow off the bumper. But got in there and was able to just fold this kind of in half in a, in a big round roll and, and then it didn't uh, get hit by the wind too much. So, anyways, but I did, obviously, got it up here. Now my other leading edge is, well, it, it has been in here. Well, both of those have been in here. So, getting fewer and fewer parts. That, that uh, box over there is all but empty. So, I am getting there. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, it's the box downstairs that's got the got the rib parts in there 
So let's see if I can think of something else to say. Oh yeah, um, I did go ahead and drill these holes that are drilled into your your rear spar. I did I did go ahead and drill them, and I thought about yeah I wanted to mention that having a an awl is a nice tool to have a, to have around for like like when I got underneath there and and brought the skin around. To line up with the with the spar holes, well, you can go through the skin and then kind of grab that hole in the spar with that and and pull it. You don't want to pull hard because this is sixteen thousands and don't take too much to mess it up. But it fits so good that uh, that it'll work. So I guess that's a little bit longer video than than my normal ones but not as long as my longer ones that I have had hmm I just seen this so I have to have to trim that little tab off that don't need to be there there isn't one here so oh and I'm assuming now on the inside of this skin yeah let me bring this up on the inside of this skin, uh, I'm well. Of course, it's UC for Ultra Cruiser, and I'm guessing that must mean nose left, because the other one said N R, so nose right. And since this is the right wing, there is a there is kind of a a top and bottom, and I was kind of wondering about that, and then when I seen the the words on there i thought well let me just try this and apparently it, e it either goes either way or that is what that means so you might if you're if you're uh building from the kit remember that and uh, don't just grab one because i think i mean the other one would go on here too because it's got the the notches in here and the notches in there but the holes here may not be quite the same so might keep that in mind now i'll guarantee you this is a lot easier than the scratch build because when i scratch built both the h5 and the ultra cruiser i put this i got this skin ready first of course i did it in i did it in a four foot piece and then a three foot piece or whatever that comes out to. And I had the spar laying on a substantial piece of wood that kept it flat. And, and then I'd wrap the skin around the leading edge with a course. Oh, and it was the spar was laying flat and I had the ribs up and then I'd, I'd wrap the skin around the spars and the, like I say, the table that was, that the spar was on was the same width as what the spar was. So since my skin was a little bit wider than what the spar was, um, I think I might be saying that right. It would go past it so that I have room to trim off and, and then, and then I would, take uh, the ratchet straps or something and strap it down and then and then draw on there to measure it to fit and then take it off cut it and then of course in the, in the scratch building case then you have to go ahead and draw your lines on draw your lines on here for the rib for the rib holes and go ahead and come up with your own uh, rib distance which I guess this is three inches and then lay that out on your on your skin now we're talking about the uh, scratch welders now lay that out on your skins and then go ahead and drill those and then when you fit it back on your your wing or on that spar and get it all strapped down then go ahead and drill through just like you would do on this and of course you'd have to have the red lines on your ribs too so well that's making a little bit longer video so that's 
maybe that will be a little help for the, or at least that's the way I did it. I mean, I'm sure there's probably other ways. And of course, uh, if you've got help, it probably help there too. But that's the way I ended up doing it. Because like I say, I didn't have Spike at the time on the Ultra Cruiser, but he was around on the H5. So anyway, we will let y'all go. Have a great day. And there, there you go, which I already said. And God bless.